Hi, I'm, I'm Elias Gwynn, Applications Engineer with Benchmark Media Systems, and this is an exclusive video for Audio Advisor. Today we're talking about the ADC-1 USB. The ADC-1 USB provides a great analog to digital conversion system for anybody that wants to archive their vinyl or their tapes or record any analog source such as FM radio. The ADC-1 was built for the professional studio, and so it achieves levels of performance that are absolutely essential for high-end audio applications. There are a few things that make it extre extremely uh, well suited to, to get high precision recordings. There's precise gain dialing and you can achieve up to 39 dB of additional gain should you need it uh, or 6 dB of attenuation should you need it um, or you can keep it in the calibrated position which will which will achieve uh, very precise channel match gaining. We have a nine segment meter, nine LED segment meter. Uh, this meter can be configured to view to on a, on a coarse level. Uh, the coarse level means that the lowest LED meter indicates a minus 48 dBFS recording, whereas the highest one is a zero dBFS recording, and it goes in increments of six dB. And then there's the more fine scale, which goes from minus 20 to zero. And then there's a peak hold function. And what that means is that the peak level of the converter will be held so that you can determine the peak level that was recorded. This, this indicates the sample rate which you're recording at. There are multiple configurations which can be used. Um, the optical can be used as SPDIF or as ADAT. The ADAT can be used in a configuration that can go up to 192 over 2 channel. The, conver the whole converter itself is 192 kilohertz 24-bit converter. The connectivity of the converter is actually very intuitive. It's very clever as well. There are your typical outputs. These all achieve 192 kilohertz 24-bit outputs. Uh, coaxial, uh, the Toslink optical, and the AES-EBU. The, the auxiliary BNC coaxial output is great for um, you can you can make the auxiliary output a dithered 16-bit output so that you can run it directly into a CD burner or into a DAT tape. Um, this is extremely convenient because if you normally if you want to record straight to a CD player, you need something to dither from 24-bit to 16-bit, and there's a built-in dither function that will perform that for you. So you can connect this directly to a CD burner and achieve high-quality CD recordings. The USB output is a native USB implementation. It achieves 96 kilohertz 24-bit connection. And the, um, it, there's no issues with compatibility. It's compatible with Macintosh. It's compatible with Windows. It's compatible right out of the box. There's no need to install any drivers, any software, or anything like that. It will work immediately upon plugging in. And it's a bit transparent data path which means that the, the, all of the performance that you achieve with this box is transferred faithfully into the software because there's absolutely zero modification in between here and the software. And then the international power supply. The international power supply is, is compatible with 110 volt power supplies or 210 volt power supplies. And it's easily switchable between the two. You simply pull the fuse drawer out and there's a little window here that indicates that it's at 110 volts at the moment and you simply just need to pull the bottom part of the fuse drawer out, turn it around 180 degrees, slide it back in, and then slide this back in and now you're at set for 220. The power supply of this unit features an internal toroidal transformer, very low radiation transformer. Uh, it's, the power supply is incredibly robust. It can work on voltage rails plus or minus 30 volts, give or take. So if your 110 sags down to you know, 90, 85, you will still have full performance from the unit. Um, all in all, the sound of this converter is ultra clear transparency. It's absolute purity. So the sound that you put through this converter is going to be the sound that gets recorded. So if you want to back up your vinyls, you don't have to worry about any sort of digital uh, nastiness going on with this. It's going to have the absolute pure sound, the sound that you expect from your, trans from your vinyl. 
The inputs for the ADC1 are XLR balanced inputs. Uh, if you want to connect an RCA unbalanced source to a balanced input, you want to make sure that you use balanced cable and the in the the conductor that's that's attached to pin 3 on the XLR cable should be attached to the shield of the RCA connector. I'm Elias Gwynn, Applications Engineer with Benchmark Media Systems. This has been an exclusive video for Audio Advisor.